Hey guys, it's Shay. Welcome back to my channel where you'll see vlogs, motherhood, lifestyle, and career content. Enjoy. Hey guys, it's Shay. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come to you guys today with a really quick video just to kind of talk about what I've been doing to get myself ready and prepared for this BBL journey. You guys do not know what a BBL is. Please go back and watch my last video. I explained everything about it, what is going to be going down on March the 12th. So make sure you stay tuned for those uh, vlog videos, my surgery day videos, and all those things. But if you want to know how I prepared for my BBL, stay tuned. Okay, guys. So number one, the first thing that I did was make sure that I started taking my vitamins and saving money. Those are the top two things that you can do once you decide that you're going to do a BBL. Go ahead and start trying to get your health together and getting your coins together, sis. Those are very, very important because if not, you will not be getting it. Doesn't matter if you're in the right BMI. Doesn't matter if you have a good foundation. If you don't have your deposit in and you don't have your health in that hemoglobin together, you're going to be canceled, sis. Cancel, cancel, cancel. So the first thing that I can say when I did decide to go ahead and do my BBL is to go ahead and have my $250 ready and go ahead and have my doctor in line. That's number one, sis. Make sure you're doing your research before you put that deposit down. And when you do, make sure you have, you know how much to put so that either it's $200, $500, 10% of the surgery. I know I went to a place here in Colorado, they wanted me to put down 15% of the surgery to even book my date. And it was like 13000 but we're not even going to talk about this. So yeah, you definitely want to get your pies together. You want to get your vitamins together. I'm going to show you which vitamins I took. Love, so. Let's take Vitamin C. And E. Some type of folic acid. This is all I could find was this folic. That is how I prepared. And the main reason why you want to take your vitamins is because 30 to 60 days before your surgery, you're going to have to do some lab work. Make sure that your stuff is together. Especially make sure you take your iron pills. They tell you to stop taking vitamins, drinking herbal teas, weight loss pills, weight loss supplements, protein shakes meal replacement, all that stuff they tell you to stop 30 days before. So they don't want any of that to throw off your lab results or your drug test. So you do have to take a drug test when you get there. So they tell you to stop drinking, stop smoking, you know, all the things. So that is how I prepared. At least my labs were covered under insurance. So I'm not gonna complain about that. Some people are coming out four and five hundred dollars out of pocket for their labs. I don't know why people don't have insurance, especially life insurance. Make sure that you have insurance before you're doing this kind of surgery. I don't even know why I had to say that, but clearly I had to say that. Anyway, I started putting money to the side every week. So I would give them at least $250 to $500 every week until my balance was down um, maybe $1,500. I do have to pay two weeks out though, so I will have to make my final payment by next Friday, which I have $1,500 left. So. That's just my method. Some people um, put the money in their savings account and then freeze that account so you can only put money in, you can't take money out. Some people do that. I know I ended up splitting half of my check. So half of my check was going to my local bank and half of my check was going to my bank in my home state. So I was making the payments through the bank in my home state and then I was paying all my bills and like having my living fund or whatever in my local bank that I share with my husband. So that helped me so that I didn't have to ask him for any money. I just put half of the money that I was bringing into the house to that. And then I still had enough money, obviously, to cover our bills and whatever we were splitting. So that went to our joint account. There was no money taken out of our home to get my surgery. So let me know if you enjoyed the clips of me working out. Just some, you know, workouts to help with my back fat rolls because I know he's not gonna be able to get all that and I do not really wanna pay for extra areas of life though. But they do say that you want to make sure that your upper body is extra strong because you're going to need it a lot after your procedure. So that is one thing that I can say to help you prepare as well to go ahead and start working out, get your upper body strong and start drinking lots and lots of water. Hope this helps you girls and um, hope you enjoyed the little clips that I put in, you know, how I am preparing my body um, both physically and mentally and just you know trying to get my finances together i also might get a lymphatic massage before i go down to go ahead and rid my body of some toxins i've heard that this may help 
I don't really know. If I do decide to get it though, I will definitely let you guys know. Yeah, stay tuned for the next video and subscribe so you won't miss it. Bye guys.